So you want to know what the proper running pace is for you when it comes to training. You want to know how hard you got to go on your hard days and you want to know how easy you got to go on your easy days. Well, in this video, we're going to be talking exactly about proper pacing and how to figure out the right pace that you need to train effectively to get faster. All right, let's go. What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel and if you haven't already make sure you hit like and subscribe in order to promote the content support the content and to let me know if this is the kind of material that you like if you guys have clicked on this video you probably are a runner by nature and you want to get faster that is where I come in this video is all about figuring out what pace you need to train at in order to get faster train efficiently so we're talking about pace today Generally, this is the number one metric all runners use to figure out how fit they are. For the most part, it's a pretty good way to figure out your fitness level. But there's a lot of factors that incorporate into pace that many runners don't think about when they're running. For example, when you run uphill, you have to work a lot harder to maintain the same pace that you would if it was flat. Or if you're running downhill, Gravity's helping you, so you're running a lot faster than you would on flat surfaces. Just one factor you have to consider when it comes to pace. So that's just one example of something that affects your pace that gives you inaccurate results. So in this video, I'm going to go into how you figure out what your pace is, why pace is good for measuring your fitness level, and the factors you need to consider that are going to affect your pace results. So first things first, we gotta figure out what our max pace is, what our threshold pace is. This is gonna be a metric we're gonna to use to figure out exactly our paces for our easy days and our hard days. I keep preaching this on the channel all the time and there's no sugarcoating it. You actually gotta get out and you really gotta hit the ground running, no pun intended. But you gotta go out and you gotta do a 30 minute time trial. You gotta go out and you gotta see how far you can physically go in 30 minutes. It's gotta see how far you can go. Once you go in and you get your 30 minute threshold results, now we've got something to work with. So let's say you go out, you do your 30 minute fitness test and you do four miles in 30 minutes. That comes out to be seven and a half minute per mile pace, which means that the top end of your zone three or your lactic threshold pace effort is 730. That would be your pace that you would focus on in a threshold workout, a zone three workout. You go any faster than that, you now enter into zone Y, zone four, zone five now that you've found your threshold pace here is the chart here is the breakdown of exactly what is what zone but according to this chart this is your breakdown right here it's as simple as this you take that seven and a half minute per mile pace which is eight miles per hour and you do the math to figure it out and then you convert your miles per hour back to minute per mile so you can pause the video here if you have to take a look at the chart after you've done your 30 minute fitness test then you can break down what your zones are so an easy day you would run for a dedicated amount of time in zone one zone two on threshold workout days you run in zone three and on your hard days you run zone four zone five zone x is when we're beginning to enter into zone three that is when you're accumulating as much blood lactate as you are flushing it out zone y is when we're entering zone four and zone five, that's when more blood lactate acid is coming into the body faster than we can flush it out, which is what we train for. We get ourselves adapted to this in order so the body can recognize these stresses, these stressors, and know how to respond properly the next time we do it. Now for pace, the only metric we're using here is distance and time. So the best way to train for maximum efficiency is gonna be 80% in zone one, zone two, and 20% is gonna be a mix of zone three, zone four, zone five. I would recommend 
5% zone 3, 10% zone 4, and another 5% zone 5. That way you get a little bit of a mix of a medium effort and a downright hard effort. And you base all this off of time. So figure out training calendar, figure out how much time in a week you can dedicate to this, dedicate to running in general, and then you need to calculate the time that's available to you, the time that you actually use when you train, and you take that time and you multiply it by 0.8 and 0.2. Base it off of an example such as a five hour training week. Four of those hours are gonna be spent in zone one and zone two. And one of those hours is gonna be spent in zone three, zone four, zone five. And you break that up accordingly appropriately to your training schedule. Now, another note you need to keep in mind when you're doing these pace trainings is the environmental factors that are outside. The reason I mention this is because pace doesn't take into consideration your heart rate. Your heart is the muscle that's pumping all this blood. And the faster you flush out all your lactic acid, the more efficiently you're gonna run, the faster you're gonna run. But when you start running uphill, your heart's gonna pump a lot faster because now you're fighting gravity and that's gonna affect your pace. You're gonna slow down. Or if you keep the same pace going uphill, your heart rate's gonna increase. If you wanna train and you wanna make sure you're training exactly at that 80-20 ratio and you're hitting your zones, you're hitting the right paces on your easy days and your hard days, the best way to go about that is try to find the most level surface you can and train on that. The majority of your courses that you're gonna race, not all of them are perfectly flat. A lot of them are gonna have hills anyway. But to get the best training effort, most accuracy, if you're only using pace, flat surfaces are probably where you're gonna to wanna to go to do a bulk of your training. So that's about it, guys. That's a very quick summary of pace. I know it's a very short video, nothing too crazy. But I mean, it's that simple. You gotta go out, you gotta do a 30 minute fitness test, and then you just take distance divided by time, and boom, you've got your zone three. You've got your 100% zone three threshold effort right there. Anyways, guys, I hope you find this useful. If you guys want any specific running tip advice, please comment down below and let me know. I am more than happy to answer any type of running questions. I can get you guys all the information that you're looking for. So with that said, comment down below and we'll see you guys next time. All right. Have a good one, everyone.